Thank you to Books for sponsoring today's video. In this video, I will be doing an unboxing of the Books Palma as well as covering a few features of the device. The Books Palma is a unique e-ink device that combines the experience of a phone and an e-reader into one device. Opening up the box, the first thing that you will see is the Books Palma, but we're gonna put that aside first. And you will see it beneath that we have a little box as well as an information booklet about the device. Inside the box, you will get your charging cable, which is USB to USB type C, and you also get a card tray eject tool. Before we get to the device itself, I just wanna quickly take a look at the cover that you get with the device. So with your purchase of a Palma, you will get a protective case. When choosing your bundle, you can choose between the standard case or the flip fold case. This here is the standard case in the color white. And I'm really happy that you get a case with the device. This just gives you ease of mind and you don't have to worry about breaking your device. Getting back to the Palma, let's go ahead and take off the plastic wrapping. I went with the white color. There is a black color available as well. I really love the look of of the white color and overall just the design of the device I just really like the look of. Next we're just going to turn on the device and start with the initial setup which is just covering your region, signing in with your account as well as covering some basic navigation through the device. So that's basically it for the unboxing and everything that's inside the device. Now I want to take a closer look into the Palma and all the features and things that it has. With the Palma you get a 6.13 inch display and this is a really nice size because it's comfortable enough to be able to see what is on your screen easily and it's also compact enough to be able to take with you anywhere in any bag. If you don't know what an e-ink display is, it means that it mimics the look of ink on paper and it's basically just closer to looking like paper than a regular display. Moving on to the design of the rest of the device, the outside material has this water repellent design, which means that you just don't have to worry too much when you're close to water or getting a few droplets on it. And also the back, you can see we have this unique texture as well. To the right of the device, we have our power button and our lock button, whatever you wanna call it. And then we also have our volume controls, which can actually be customized to be used as page turning buttons or scrolling buttons, which is really nice. Then to the left, we have a function button, which you can also customize to do certain tasks. And at default, it is set to be a refresh button. So if you've ever used any e-ink devices, you know there is sometimes ghosting from previous pages that you were on that now shines through to this page that you're on now. This can sometimes be annoying so with one click you can now just refresh your page really easily. On this side we also have our micro SD card slot so if you want to expand your storage. I don't think this would be necessary really because it has 128 gigabytes of storage at default but if you are running out of storage you can expand it with SD card. And then at the bottom we also have our USB-C port for charging. Then lastly you will see that we have a camera at the back of the device. Now this is not necessarily to be used as you would your phone's camera. This is just really Really helpful if you would like to quickly scan a document right onto the Palma, you can use the camera here. It also has a flash if you are working in low light conditions. If you're still watching to this point and enjoying the video, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a like and subscribe. It just really helps me and the algorithm to know to recommend my videos to more people, so I would really appreciate it. Now for some more specs and features, this device has an octa-core CPU as well as six gigabytes of RAM. And what this basically means is that it will be a comfortable experience using this device even with the limitations of eating technology. It's also running Android 11 just with Books' software skin over it. This just gives you quite a familiar experience to most Android phones and it also means we have access to the Google Play Store with some of its apps. In the few days that I've been testing out the device, I've actually downloaded the Kindle app, the Libby app and the Bible app and all of these work really great without any issues on the Palma. I have no complaints when it comes to the screen quality or the size of the device. It's really comfortable to be using for long periods of time since it is a nice and light device. Also one of my favorite features is the fact that we can adjust the brightness and the temperature of the screen. This is really great especially since I mostly read at night. To lower the amount of blue light you can also adjust the temperature which I use often. One thing I'm really excited about is to be reading more books on Libby which is a library app for ebooks. I know if you're in the US you can send your Libby books to your e-reader like your Kindle but that is not an option for us outside of the US and I really don't like reading on my phone but that since now that has been my only option for reading Libby books. With my phone there's just a lot more distractions with like social media and messaging apps that are on my phone and also the screen is more harsh on your eyes because of all the blue light but now with the Palma I can actually install apps like Libby onto the device which I wouldn't 
be able to do on other e-readers and I can read all my Libby books on an e-ink device which is really what I was looking for. So for now this is all I'm going to be covering in this video. I don't want to go into too much about the device yet since I've only been using it for a few days. I just wanted to share some basic features that I know are on the device but in the review that's coming in a few weeks I will be covering more in detail my usage, who I think this device is for and just my overall thoughts and experiences using this device. So stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye